hello everyone welcome back to my channel study junction and in the previous video i told you about the class 8 most important questions from chapter 1 rational numbers and in this video i'll tell you the most important questions from chapter 2 linear equations in one variable so let's get started now let's find the most important questions for chapter 2 one thing I must tell you about this chapter that all the questions from this chapter are very important, very, very important. So, from the examples, you can just practice, but there is not as such question which is very important. But here I, I found the question number 8 to be a very important question because these are in decimals and uh, this makes this question unique. So, you need to practice these kind of questions. Now moving here to question number 12, so it's also very important these kind of questions generally come in which students lose their marks by uh, because they don't, uh, they forget to interchange the signs when the side is changed. So make sure you don't make that mistake. Okay, so if I tell you this example number 5, this example number 5 is very important. It can, It is also a part of linear equations and also a part of rational numbers. If you have watched my previous video, so you would know that in the previous video, I told you that you need to practice the problem sum. So, more than half of the questions are present in the linear equations for the practice of rational numbers. So, this example 6 is also very important. The length width questions, the parameter questions are very important. Then example 7, the age questions, you need to be very sure about the age questions because sometimes these become a mess and we are not able to find the solution. So, make sure you practice well for these questions. You don't have to leave any question, but I am just telling you about the most, most important questions. Then uh, moving to this 8th question, this question is very important as well as it is very common and uh, very useful question at the same time. I was asked this question in every assignment, in every test, in every exam of mine last year when I was class 8. So make sure you do this. This question generally comes in the exam. So, the sum of consecutive multiples, it's very rare that it does not come, but you just have to practice. Then, uh, this question, uh, ratio question is there, so you need to practice this very well. Then, again, example 11. So, this example 11 is again very important because it's again a money currency note question. So, as I've told you about the importance. Then, is the exercise 2.2. So, I have marked, marked the important questions. So, question 1 is very important. Then, question 2, you have practiced already in example last, which I told. Then, um, again, the third question. Then, if you come on the fifth question, so it's very important. Then, eighth question, again, um, it's uh, very important. Then, ninth question is also very important because it's uh, an age question. Then, the... 11th question is also very important after that uh, 14th question as I have told already 15th question is also very important then moving on to next so these kind of questions are also very important so this like example 13 example 13 can be asked as such in your exam because it's a perfect equation so here you can practice multiple questions but as you can see I have marked the most important 2nd, 4th, 7th, 8th, 10th and 9th. So you need to practice these very well. Then the some more applications. So these applications are just the base of your chapter. Example 14. Example 15 is also very important because it's an age question. Then exercise 2.4. I strictly advise you to do all the questions still i have marked some important questions like question third so question third interchange question this question you need to just keep it in your mind because this is the question which can make a difference in your result because this is the same question is asked Many times I have uh, seen the question papers of other schools also and this question comes as such. Then 
the sixth and seventh is also very important and then these questions can also be practiced so example 16 you must do example 16 because it's a perfect question to be asked example 17 seems to be very big but if, when you'll solve just solve it very carefully because it has the use of brackets then it has a uh, rational number as well then you just have to make sure that you do this question really well do checking see here also they have checked this so you need to check so that this is a chapter in which you get to find your mistake whenever it is so just make sure you check your question so that you can uh, you will not lose marks in these chapters this question is important in exercise 2.5 then again fourth ninth tenth and then the sixth sixth question is really important i'm saying this question came in my exam last year so i'm advising you to follow this question so if i move on to next these are the equations reducible to the linear form so these are very important these are i can guarantee you this type of question will be surely asked in your exam then the present age question very important one um i've marked these important questions you can see first second fourth sixth seventh and the end of the chapter so if i summarize these uh, questions i have uh, told i guarantee to be asked so make sure you do practice them very well you need to have a grab on the interchange question age questions then the which can be reduced to the linearable form then also the uh, other questions which i made you mark the perimeter ones are very important the ratio ones are very important so make sure you practice them very well thank you for watching this video and in the upcoming videos i'll uh, show you the important questions for each and every chapter thank you for watching